Any pre-match predictions today, Steve? Well, New Zealand have had two big wins, Will, so they're one of the teams to beat. Um, Canada, of course, losing their first match to their role as the United States uh, before getting over Great Britain, I believe it was, in round two. So, uh, look, Canada will be able to prove they do need to win this game to uh, remain in touch with the top teams. So, who knows, mate? I'll tip a draw. We'll see how, we'll see how, it, uh, how it unfolds. <laughs> what about yourself? Uh, I might go with Smokey here and go with Canada. I think the uh, training session Thursday might, might have just familiarised them a bit with the ground a little bit better. But we'll see how we go. As we said, it is going to be tricky conditions here today. It is quite windy and, uh, and overcast. We may get some rain later on. So I guess whoever plays to the conditions and gets that score on the board early might be the, uh, the, the team to beat. Just about to get underway here at Mount Waverley. And in the ruck for New Zealand, it looks like we'll have Craig Morgan. And for Canada, it looks like we'll have Mitch home. But it looks like Craig Morgan's got the first tap as it comes out. Not quite sure who's got it early. But Andrew housen has been tackled, the captain of New Zealand team. And we'll have a ball up from the umpire. And it's been thrashed out there by Morgan White. But we'll have a scrum as the players fight for the ball. So for those that are watching abroad, every time the ball does come to a, uh, a hold or a stoppage in play, the umpire will come in, throw up, the rucks will contest the ball again, and we get underway. As Canada now get it forward, and the loose man there for New Zealand takes the grab here on the broadcast side. Looks inside, risky kick, and he's turned it over. Canada here are going to have a scoring opportunity coming up, you'd think. Eric Klein's kicked it in there. And not quite sure who's marked it yet, but they're probably just within scoring range, you'd think, and it looks like he's going to line up for a shot on goal. So in Australian rules football, when the ball's kicked over 15 metres and you take a clean catch, it's known as a mark, and you get a, a set shot from wherever you take the mark. He's kicked it into the man on the mark there, and New Zealand will regather it. Running out of half back. We've kicked it up onto the wing. Looks inside now. He's turned it over. Canada will go back into the, their uh, attacking half of the ground. That's Morgan White, who's already seen a little bit of the ball so far in the early stages. Kicks it forward. Drop mark. Canada still seem to have possession. It's a kick towards goal, but it's gone across the face. New Zealand have the spare man here. Garrett Reynolds, though, he's done well. And the ball's kicked out of bounds on the full. So that will be a free kick to New Zealand. They'll bring the ball back into play. And that shot on goal is from Garrett Reynolds, who plays for the Toronto Eagles back in the Canadian competition. Kicks down the line on the broadcast side. And New Zealand moving the ball quickly here. Good mark from Brandon Clark there. Samuel McKenzie there, number six. He's set to be one of the players to watch as well. He's the team manager of the New Zealand Hawks. New Zealand go inside their 50 for the first time today. And holding the man, free kick's been plucked out. For those watching abroad, not familiar with our game, you cannot be held without the football. And it'll be a free kick to New Zealand here. And lining up, it looks like it's Joshua Mackey. Joshua Mackey from Otago Riot. First 4A forward for New Zealand here today. So they can get on the board. They'll be up and running. Oh, and it looks like there's been a 50-metre penalty. So what's happened there is the, the Canadian player on the mark, the Canadian defender there, he's gone over his mark, meaning the, uh, the New Zealand player will get a 50-metre penalty. And uh, look should score a goal from that distance. And that was Morgan White who gave away the penalty, so he's getting very involved in it early. And the 18-year-old uh, Joshua Mackey kicks the first goal of the match, and New Zealand lead one goal, to, uh, one goal zero behind six to zero goals, zero behinds 
for a total score of zero for Canada. Four minutes into the first quarter here at Mount Waverley Reserve. First score on the board in New Zealand. And it'll be Craig Morgan again in the ruck for New Zealand. But no one's taken a clean possession yet since the bounce. Canada fighting at the bottom of the pack. And it looks like it's William Gregson. New Zealand now with the numbers, but the umpire's come in. He's spotted something again, and it's another free kick to New Zealand for holding the man. And Liam Beatty kicks the ball forward. He plays for the University Blues competition uh, team here in, the, in Melbourne, uh, which is the Melbourne University's team. Scoring opportunity here, but no, he's been bumped the New Zealand player, and that's going to be out of bounds. So the umpire will restart the game with a throw in this situation. The ball going over the boundary line. Uh, actually, no, it was kicked out on the full. So Canada will get the free kick and bring the ball back into play. It's a good long kick out of defence. Ball now spilling out of bounds. Umpire restarts play. Canadian Ruckman gets it forward to a man, and they're running in their way here. No, turnover to New Zealand. It was David Rattenbury with the interception there. Canada again now, go forward on the outer side. Scrappy kick, but it's going to work for them. That was a mark to Adam Nash, who's kicked four goals so far for Canada this tournament. Fantastic kick there as Canada set up for another shot on goal. And Garrett Reynolds has it just inside the 50 metre arc, so he's probably just within scoring range. He's looked dangerous today. He has. He's, uh, he's been called back by the umpire, so he'll have another chance. Wasn't a great first attempt, so he'll be happy with that. And he might look to pass it off again here. He does. Gee, that's a long kick. But it goes across the face of goal. Umpires picked something out here. I think there was a hit off the play, so New Zealand will get the ball and try and clear from their defence. And out of fullback was William Dickinson. New Zealand just working the ball forward on that outer side. It's going to come back though. Canada with yet another inside 50. And I think that was Dickinson again, and he's been tackled. Uh, the Canadian forward thought he'd played on, so went to tackle him, but um, the umpire deemed that he hadn't played on yet, and he's gotten the 50 metre penalty. He plays on to Adam Simpson, but Canada turns it over, and that's a good kick from Clay Lund, the captain today. And Adam Nash, oh, that's a great mark. The umpire's, the umpire's called play on. Two of the players to watch for Canada there, Clay Lund, the acting captain, and Adam Nash up forward. Canada looking to have the ascendancy early, but uh, just can't convert it on the scoreboard. That score again, New Zealand one goal, six. Canada yet to score. And out of the ruck for New Zealand, there was Ty Smith with the blonde hair for New Zealand. This is Trent Loosemore, one of the better players for Canada so far this competition. Canada working it through the middle. The umpire's called another free kick out here. It'll go to New Zealand. Short kick through the middle. New Zealand going into 50 now. Canada have the numbers there, but it's spilled to New Zealand. Kick forward. And Canada have the numbers here. They'll look to clear. Great kick there. This is the Canadian captain, Clay Lund, here. And he kicks down the broadcast side. Not a great kick. Good contest, good contest. 
course. We know that Dennis Armfield has been a uh, has has been helping the Canadians throughout the week. So maybe a bit of aggression there that Dennis has taught them. Dennis, of course, announcing his retirement from the Carlton Football Club during the week. 160 odd games from memory. Kick four from Canada. That's going to spill out of bounds. That was Nick Liang there from the Hamilton Wildcats who kicked the ball forward for Canada. Number 22, and it looks like he's wearing an elbow sleeve there. Not sure if he's carrying an injury, but we'll have to see how that plans out during the game. New Zealand clearing the ball now. Canada have the spare man, though. Good mark from Morgan White there, who again is getting involved. Just a sea of players in front here. He does go short, though, to the contest. Not a great kick, and it is turned over. As Canada go inside, he spotted the man. Well done. Good mark there to Samuel McKenzie. He's got the switch of play here as well. That's a great kick. They've got the numbers there if they can get the football. And they're in safe hands here with Andrew Howison, or they should be. But the umpire's caught it, and it's a free kick. And the skipper will look to, to penetrate the forward line here. He's got the spare man on the wing, number seven. That's uh, Tipina Thomas. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Didn't spot him, though. And the ball is in a contest once again. And Canada look to ha uh, sorry, New Zealand look to have the numbers down back at this stage, and they'll load up again. Gee, they're out here. Kick into 50. Brand Brendan Clark here for, for New Zealand, but he's been tackled by, by uh, James Duggan from Canada. And a bit of aggro. Now, for those watching in Canada, that was a holding the ball decision. So the player tackled, didn't dispose of the ball correctly, didn't get the ball to foot, or, uh, you know, if he was to throw it or dispose of it incorrectly, it is holding the ball and a free kick to the opposition. And the umpire will throw it in. And Baker Thomas was contesting there. Of course, he used to be listed with St Kilda Saints in the Australian Rules Football League. But I don't think he ever played in that competition. And we'll have another ball up here as neither team can take clean possession. Looks like the Canadian Ruckman got the ball out there. And uh, Eric Klein seemed to take possession there, but he got tackled. And the ball spills out. New Zealand can't quite get possession. And the umpire will throw the ball in from the boundary line. And Canada could be away here as Bork kicks it out of the defensive 50. Oh, nearly a great mark from Adam Nash. But New Zealand will reload. New Zealand really starting to get on top in this game as well. Canada had the momentum early, couldn't convert on the scoreboard. New Zealand really looking like they're getting on top here. Some good play there from Andrew Siku and uh, Craig Morgan. But Canada, Canada's gotten a free kick there. That's James Duggan across to Morgan White. And White's kick up forward couldn't quite find Eric Klein. And New Zealand seemed to have gained possession and control of the play again. This is Brendan Clark for New Zealand running in against Giancarlo Brancardi. So I believe that's Gene Coe, Brian Caddy for Canada. And we'll have another throw in from the, from the forward pocket of the New Zealand forward line. Just looking down here on the bench, number 25 for the New Zealand Hawks, Ty Smith, who's with the North Shore Tigers. Just getting the ribs looked at at the moment. He copped a big crunching uh, hit down here on the broadcast side wing. Just getting that checked out. So a couple of concerns early for the New Zealand side. Yes. 
So ball to be thrown in on the outer wing now. Canadian Ruckman gets it down. That was Morgan White again getting involved. New Zealanders just seem to be getting the better of the 50-50 contest at the moment. Big kick goes into a one-on-one -on -one contest. That's what we love. I think that was uh, Joe Baker-Thomas up forward for New Zealand, but he gave away the free kick. As we see Faymalo and Boyce both coming on for the New Zealand side. And New Zealand loaded up Andrew House and just outside 50 kicks it inside. But it goes straight down the throat of Mike Aspel for Canada. They do have loose men across the half back line though, New Zealand. So it's going to be hard for Canada to get this one out. And as you say, New Zealand seem to have gotten the ball back there and they'll load up again, try and get a clean mark inside 50. But again, it comes to Aspel for Canada. And he kicks it outside 50 now. See the New Zealand player went early there. Unrealistic attempt at the marks. So it'll be a free kick to Canada. 15 and a half minutes gone here at Mount Waverley. We've got New Zealand one goal, six. That's the only score between these two sides. Canada yet to score. And it's a mark up on the wing. It looks like it's again our man Morgan White. White looking for options now. He plays on. I might have, might have sold himself into a bit of trouble, Will. The New Zealand side now take possession. They move it through the middle of the ground. That was uh, Topino Thomas with the helmet on for New Zealand. Player streaming forward now. He doesn't seem to be in any quick, uh, in any great rush to get rid of this football. Go short. Be called to play on the New Zealand player. Gee, that's a big kick. I think it was Craig Morgan, the ruckman. Haven't gotten a mark and Canada's taken possession on the last line of defence. And it's been rushed through by James Duggan, who has been another name we've called out several times throughout the course of the first quarter. Canadian fullback plays on now. He's looking for options to clear this ball. They have been under siege this last five, ten minutes down back, Canadians. Trent Loose more there, I think it was. Uh, Hacking the ball off the ground and then again with the tackle there. But New Zealand have possession. They've just got loose men everywhere here. They're going to look to switch the ball to the broadcast side. He's got another free man on the, on the wing here. It's Michael Boyce in possession here. Hasn't seen Boyce yet. He does now. Short kick. This He'll look to take it and go. To P&A Thomas now. No, a turnover there and the Canadians will take possession once again. And a good mark from Mike Aspel. And that's the sign to end the first quarter here as the ball spills out on the broadcast side wing. That score again, New Zealand one goal, one behind, seven points. Canada yet to score. Good start by the Canadians, but really the last ten minutes was dominated by New Zealand, Will. It was, yeah. We, it was almost a tale of, uh, of two halves in that first quarter. Early on it looked like Canada, um, Canada was going to get on top, but they just couldn't score. And then after that first goal that New Zealand kicked, they sort of really took control of possession and had it back and forth inside and out there, forward 50. Positives for both sides, I would have thought. Uh, Canada, hard at the footy, hard at the contest in the man. New Zealand, on the other hand, getting a lot of loose men around the half-back line and the wing. A couple of nice switches of play, just couldn't convert with that one solitary goal. Steve Corisanis, Will Zwar here with you at Mount Waverley Reserve. As we said, home of the Waverley Blues Footy Club. They'll be playing after this match against Knox in the EFL. As we look to these two sides heading to their huddles. Uh, after one quarter of play here at Mount Waverley. Getting numbers to the contest around the half-back line, Canada, but they just cannot get that secondary kick into their attacking half. And White there got the ball out of the ruck. But neither team can seem to take possession clean. Uh, quite scrappy at the moment. The ball doesn't seem to be getting out. The umpire's keeping an eye on things. 
and he'll come in and ball it up. 14 and a half minutes gone here at Mount Waverley. New Zealand 2-3-15. Canada yet to score. They're defending for their lives. They realise the importance of this next five or six minutes and the need to get a score on the board. They just cannot get it out of their back half. And White on Morgan in the ruck here. Canada got the numbers here. They're looking to get it forward. But once again, New Zealand running away. Got the, got the free man here as well. Kicked it to the hot spot. Baker Thomas with a tackle there. And that'll keep the ball inside the New Zealand 50 metre line. Tap away. And Canada gets it out of defence, but it's all New Zealand and they will reload and go for another attempt inside their forward line. It's got the spare man everywhere at the moment. That's the kick though, and the mark's been taken. Great grab there by Cunliffe from the North Shore Tigers. He's going to line up to put New Zealand further ahead, going for their third goal and his first. Comes in now. Didn't look good off the boot, and he's just sprayed that. Keeps Canada in the contest. You say if he kicked that, it might have been tough from here, but uh, he didn't look confident from the start, did he? <laughs> he didn't. Good mark, might have gotten ahead of himself. And if you're joining us here, uh, New Zealand is leading Canada, two goals, four behinds for a total of 16 to zero goals, zero behinds, zero. The goal scorers uh, in the first quarter, Joshua Mackey kicked the opening goal of the game. And in the second quarter, it was Joseph Baker Thomas uh, from New Zealand who kicked a lovely goal uh, right in front of us here. Yeah, Canada really owning the first four or five minutes of this game, but from there it has been all New Zealand. So Canada really need to get a score on the board before half time. Just ticking over into the 17th minute, so half time rapidly approaching. 2 4 16, Canada yet to score. And again, early this quarter, Canada looked like they were threatening the scoreboard but couldn't quite convert. And um, since then, it's all been down, down New Zealand's end. That was Femalo. And it was another behind, so it's two goals, five behinds, 17 to New Zealand. Canada on zero goals, zero behinds for a total of zero. And there's the siren as Canadian captain Clay Lund takes the mark. All New Zealand that quarter, just couldn't kick accurately. Two goals, five, 17 at the break. Canada yet to score. We're live here from Mount Waverley Reserve, home of the Waverley Blues Football Club, as we've said live into Canada via the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation live stream. The hashtag, of course, as well, hashtag AFLIC17, AFLIC17. Let us know what you thought of that first half. For those in Canada and those watching at Hemingways in Toronto, let us know what you liked about your side, how you can perhaps get into the game, and anyone watching or supporting the New Zealanders, let us know what you, uh, what you liked about that as well. Two goals, 5-17, Canada yet to score. Half-time here at Mount Waverley. Good play from Samuel McKenzie for New Zealand there. And he's also the team manager. And lining up now, it looks like we've got Brendan Clark. Um, but the kick was cut off. Canada just desperate to get this football out of their defence, but it's going to come back. And Joe Baker Thomas takes a good, strong mark. That's just a brilliant contested mark from the key forward. Big man Thomas, and he'll look to put this one through. Listed at 194 centimetres, Baker Thomas. Of course, he was listed with the St Kilda Football Club. Comes in now. 
That looks like a great kick. He's used the win beautifully. That's a fantastic goal. And the Kiwis are cheering here, loud and proud from the bench and in the crowd. They go to a 13-point lead. You could sense a goal was coming there and a great contested mark by Baker Thomas and kicks truly. So 2-1-13 New Zealand, Canada still yet to score. We've gone just over five minutes in the second quarter of this Round 3 International Cup clash here at Mount Waverley. And it looks like Smith got that one out for New Zealand. We'll have another ball up though as neither team can take clean possession. Next goal crucial here. It is only early days, but if New Zealand can get a third without Canada scoring, it's really going to put the pressure on the Canadians. Canada, on the other hand, if they can peg one back here against the run of play, they'll be right back in this ball game. New Zealand have the clean play now though, and the Ruckman Smith kicks it inside forward 50. Looks like a couple of players down there. Yeah, it may be a bit of clash of heads and the Canadian players come off second best as you can see. So behind to New Zealand. And Canada will kick out from their goals. Ball spools out of play and we'll have a restart at 50 metres from the New Zealand goal. New Zealand do have Baker Thomas on his own. Height, height mismatch against Jacob Martin, the New Zealand defender. If they can get it one out to him, uh, look, he could be the match winner. New Zealand look to have gained about sort of 10 metres there from that play, but it's gone out of bounds again and we'll have a, a throw into the Ruckman. New Zealand again look to load up. Good kick into the middle. They're moving the ball quickly now. They are starting to get a bit of continuity with their possessions. That was Brandon Suku here to Famalo. Desperate by the Canadians. And they're going to be rewarded. They know the pressure's on. They know they need to kick the next goal. Got some free numbers around the half-back line here. Nothing forward, though. High looping kick goes into the middle. And a free kick's been called. May have been a hold there, I'm not too sure. But free kick to the New Zealanders nonetheless. Five. Five. As we've said, we're going live into Canada today via the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation live stream. And another hello to everyone at Hemingway's Restaurant and Bar in Toronto. Hope you're enjoying the game. A free kick here to New Zealand on half back. Not a great kick forward, but they still managed to keep possession of New Zealand. And Ty Smith here couldn't quite grab clean possession. But McKenzie here, oh, he's been tackled, wasn't able to get boot to ball. And it's a free kick to Canada. Not a great kick across goal as that Ruckman Ty Smith intercepted it. Uh, very risky that kick. Good crowd here today too at, uh, at Mount Waverley, Waverley Reserve rather for this game. And of course, 
Following off this game, the Waverley Blues will be taking on Knox in the uh, in the A-grade fixture. Canadians look to clear it now. Couldn't get the quick kick away. And we're going to have a ball up. Yeah, the umpire comes in. He's going to restart play as the Canadians continue to defend their goal line. Still a scrum as New Zealand look to have taken possession through their captain Howison. Go back to Craig Morgan and he kicks it inside 50. And oh, oh would have been a shot on goal, but he couldn't hold the mark. Yeah, tricky conditions, but you should really be wrapping those ones up. Opportunity missed for the New Zealand side there. Umpire restarts, 10 and a half minutes gone. New Zealand 14, Canada yet to score. It was White from Canada who got the ball out, but New Zealand took possession from the hit out. And this is McKenzie. It's a grubber along the ground. Umpire seen something here. I think it's a holding the man. It's a free kick to free kick to New Zealand here, so that's a big call. They'll have a shot on goal. And this is David Rattenbury lining up. No, it's not. Come on. It's Andy Christensen. It's 30, 30 metres out. It's going to be a tricky kick with a win. He'll need to keep it low. I'm going to back him in to score. <laughs> it looks like it's just hit the side of the boot there and it hasn't quite come off the way he would have liked. Two goals, three, three behinds for a total of 15. Plays zero goals, zero behinds for a total of zero. And Canada's moving up forward now. Great contest as the ball hits the wing on the broadcast side here. Canada have the numbers if they can get a clean kick away. No, turnover here. And New Zealand. And Topino Thomas gets Great it out to Dickinson there. who kicks it up forward. And Baker Thomas couldn't quite take the mark. Ball spills over. You could just see there with the Canadians. They had the numbers there. They just need a bit of, uh, a bit of consistent... Well, they need to win the ball and, and even just to chip it around for two or three minutes, get a bit of confidence there, play to the conditions and get themselves back into this game. And Canada's taken possession here, but it's been stripped of them. And we'll have a ball up here from the umpire. About 50 metres out from the New Zealand goal. And I think the Canadian player got tackled over the boundary line there, so we'll have another throw in. Canada have the free man forward if they can just get the clearing kick. And Howison, the captain here, grabs it and kicks it forward. Nearly a great mark, but he couldn't quite hold it. Could have been too high as well. He did cop a knock to the head, but that's where you want to hit the ball. If you put it in that spot, let the big man for New Zealand contest the footy. Clearing kick from Canada now. And the Canadian couldn't take the mark up forward, which has given New Zealand a chance. But that was a great spoil. And Nash, Nash is tackled over the boundary. Getting numbers to the contest around the half back line, Canada, but they just cannot get that secondary kick into their attacking half. And White there got the ball out of the ruck. But neither team can seem to take possession clean. Uh, quite scrappy at the moment. The ball doesn't seem to be getting out. The umpire's keeping an eye on things. And he'll come in and ball it up. 14 and a half minutes gone here at Mount Waverley. New Zealand 2-3-15. Canada yet to score. They're defending for their lives. They realise the importance of this next five or six minutes and the need to get a score on the board. They just cannot get it out of their back half. And 
Um, White on Morgan in the ruck here. Canada got the numbers here. They're looking to get it forward. But once again, New Zealand running away. Got the, got the free man here as well. Kicked it to the hot spot. Baker Thomas with a tackle there. And that'll keep the ball inside the New Zealand 50 metre line. Gets the tap away. And Canada gets it out of defence, but it's all New Zealand and they will reload and go for another attempt inside their forward line. It's got the spare man everywhere at the moment. That's the kick though, and the mark's been taken. Great grab there by Cunliffe from the North Shore Tigers. He's going to line up to put New Zealand further ahead, going for their third goal and his first. Comes in now. Didn't look good off the boot and he's just sprayed that. Keeps Canada in the contest. You say if he kicked that, it might have been tough from here, but uh, he didn't look confident from the start, did he? <laughs> he didn't. Good mark, might have gotten ahead of himself. And if you're joining us here, uh, New Zealand is leading Canada. Two goals, four behinds for a total of 16 to zero goals, zero behinds, zero. The goal scorers uh, in the first quarter, Joshua Mackey kicked the opening goal of the game. And in the second quarter, it was Joseph Baker Thomas uh, from New Zealand who kicked a lovely goal uh, right in front of us here. Yeah, Canada really owning the first four or five minutes of this game, but from there it has been all New Zealand, so Canada really need to get a score on the board before half-time. Just ticking over into the 17th minute, so half-time rapidly approaching. 2-4-16, Canada yet to score. And again, early this quarter, Canada looked like they were threatening the scoreboard, but couldn't quite convert, and um, since then it's all been down, down New Zealand's end. That was Femalo, and it was another behind. So it's two goals, five behinds, 17 to New Zealand. Canada on zero goals, zero behinds for a total of zero. And there's the siren as Canadian captain Clay Lund takes the mark. All New Zealand that quarter, just couldn't kick accurately. Two goals, five, 17 at the break. Canada yet to score. We're live here from Mount Waverley Reserve, home of the Waverley Blues Football Club, as we've said. Live into Canada via the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation live stream. The hashtag, of course, as well, hashtag AFLIC17, AFLIC17. Let us know what you thought of that first half. For those in Canada and those watching at Hemingways in Toronto, let us know what you liked about your side, how you can perhaps get into the game, and anyone watching or supporting the New Zealanders, let us know what you uh, what you liked about that as well. Two goals, 5-17, Canada yet to score. Half-time here at Mount Waverley. And it looks like we have uh, Craig Morgan for New Zealand and Morgan White for Canada in the ruck to start this third quarter. And Morgan White got the tap, but Craig Morgan has earned himself a free kick. Underway for the third quarter here. Big, big five minutes to come for the Canadians. They simply have to get on the scoreboard to stay in this match. And the New Zealand midfielder kicks the ball forward, but it's a mark down back for Canada. And Canada will really want to make, make sure they get a goal in these early stages if they can hold the play. A couple of good possessions there. They just need to string a few together and they can get back into this match. As the ball spills over and across the boundary line on the outer side. White gets the tap down. He's battled manfully. Straight to the New Zealand player though as they go forward once again. Baker Thomas takes the ball. It was a good over the, over the head handball to his captain Andrew Howison, but he's pressured over the boundary line. Has looked dangerous up forward today, Baker Thomas.
back in play now. Baker Thomas in the ruck there. Playing all sorts of positions today. Canadian player could be in some trouble here. He did run into the he did run into traffic. Umpire said he didn't have pro opportunity, so he'll ball the ball, he'll throw the ball back up. And the ball spills over again. Bit stop start to uh, commence the second half here at Mount Waverley Reserve. As Famalo gets the ball out. New Zealand once again have loose men through the centre on the half forward line. He does go short to that outer side though. Canada now will look to clear and they do. No numbers back there though. It's all New Zealand. And that's a dangerous kick. They've got numbers everywhere here. Should look to score from this forward entry. Canada had the numbers back there. That was Eric Klein who attacked the footy there. Eric's been pretty good down back. He's battled manfully all day. Canada's got a free kick. I think the New Zealand player threw the ball there. Uh, so an illegal disposal, incorrect disposal. Klein now looking for his options. He's done well back there today. He's been under a lot of pressure for the majority of this game. Goes down the line, high ball. Not sure that's going to work in the wind. And the umpire's going to throw the ball up. While well, we've got a bit of a lull in the play, um, I guess for those tuning in in Canada, New Zealand, wherever you may be, I guess this game of Australian rules football, it absolutely dominates the winter months here in Melbourne. Right from suburban level, right off the AFL, football really is what makes this city tick. Uh, dominating print media, talk back radio and TV on a weekly basis as the umpire picks up a free to the New Zealanders on their half-back line. Uh, yeah, ten of the AFL clubs are based here in the state of Victoria, uh, the oldest of which being the Melbourne Football Club, who formed in 1858 and are actually the world's oldest professional football club. New Zealand couldn't make the most of that entry there as Canada's held them up. And we've got another scrap on New Zealand's half forward line. Ball spills out. Canada look to go 40 now. Dangerous kick. They've got numbers on. He's got to have a shot. And Adam Nash did enough to pressure the New Zealand defender, but the Kiwis get the ball and they'll have a rebound from their back half. Opportunity missed for Canada. New Zealand have their running game going now. There are numbers here at the contest. That was to Pane Thomas, to Famalo, and then back to Pane Thomas. That was great from Famalo into William Dickinson. Looks a likely type Famalo. Bit of a scrap here on the broadcast side wing. Both players, though, separated. Bit of feeling in this contest now as Canada look to get themselves back into this match. Good smother and good pressure there from Kyle Graham in particular. Another great smother there. It's getting willing here. Good physical contest. Good hard suburban footy is what we're seeing. As the New Zealand side make a couple of changes here near the broadcast. And that's a good kick inside forward 50 from New Zealand, but it's marked down back by the Canadians. Oh, nearly a good mark there. I think it was Baker Thomas who flew. Really starting to assert his dominance on this game, isn't he? Uh, it was Brandon Suku, in fact, but he is. Morgan White from Canada in the ruck there. Hacks the ball forward. You can see Andrew Howe sitting here in front of us on the New Zealand bench. He's just come off second best after one of those clashes. Looks like he's getting the head re-strapped here. So between him and Smith, there are a couple of injury concerns from New Zealand. Up boys, up boys, Oh, oh. It was a good mark by Boyce. Dangerous kick going into the middle of the ground, but it pays off for them. New Zealand, you can see they're trying to get their running game at, happening at every opportunity. That was Samuel McKenzie there, and he uh, probably didn't wasn't as composed as he could have been. Ball up for grabs in the middle of the ground now. Six minutes gone, New Zealand 2-5-17, Canada yet to score. They have had an opportunity or two in this third quarter. And the game restarts in the centre of the ground here at Mount Waverley Reserve. Oh, 
New Zealand at half forward now. And we've got another scrap on. It's really been the tone of the game today. Both teams applying a lot of pressure, which has made keeping possession hard, and uh, both teams are sort of exchanging it. That's right, Will. Good, hard, contested footy today. It is starting to open up a little bit here, though, and uh, you can see at half-time, ever since half-time, rather, New Zealand really looking to run and carry the footy at every opportunity. Famalo got the ball there. He's looked good today, Famalo. Too high called there. And New Zealand will go into their 50 once again. Baker Thomas gets it forward now. Apologies, that was Brandon Suku. Ball's going to be thrown back in. Really dangerous part of the uh, New Zealand forward line here. Good hit there. Umpires pick one out here, and it's going to be a holding the man decision. New Zealand now with another shot on goal. And it'll be Benjamin Hick who kicked a goal in the first game, and he plays for the University Blues uh, here in Melbourne. Good small forward type, 180 centimetres. He's going to line up. Bit of a tricky kick with this wind. He's kept it low, and I think he's kicked that. That's a great kick. Great kick by Hick. And they go 23 points clear. That's New Zealand on three goals and five behinds for a total of 17. Canada on zero goals, zero behinds for a total of zero. As we said, big kick for the Kiwis and uh, Hick there. Tricky kick. He kept it low and the ball did the rest. Windy conditions here at Mount Waverley Reserve. So uh, a big, big goal for New Zealand who moved to 3-5-23. Five, five, Canada really need to get on the board here. Yes, the mental demons uh, might already be starting to play part. Uh, and if not, then the next goal could definitely uh, start to put a dagger in the, in the stake in the stake in the coffin there. Well said, well said. <laughs> Canada look to clear now. They go to the outer side. It's a good kick out of the defensive 50 for Canada. This ball rolls out of bounds. Not the worst result for Canada. They can get players here to the contest. The umpire will throw the ball back in. Out of side, just in Canada's half of the field. Good tap down. They've got the spare player back. Gets it forward. Out of bounds on the full, however. That'll be a free kick to the New Zealand side. Great kick and mark. And that was marked there by Liam Beatty. Looks to get it moving quickly. It's been the story of the quarter for New Zealand. They've looked to run and carry in these conditions. <laughs> Brandon Suku there. He's had a good start to this second half. Certainly has. And Jay Johnson there hands the ball back. Suku gets involved again. Finds a spare man. He can take it and go. Doesn't take the mark though. This is Craig Morgan, the big ruckman. Suku again, he's on fire at the moment. A good kick inside forward 50 and a good mark to, I think it was Andy Christensen there. Looks to yet again move the ball quickly, finds the spare man. And this is David Rattenbury from the uh, Watakiri Magpies. Apologies for any mispronunciations there. Looks like he fancies himself here as he moves in. It's a big kick. It's come back though, and he's kicked it. Judges the conditions perfectly. And another goal on the board to the New Zealanders. Looked like it was going to go across the face. It was quite a high ball, but the wind really brought it back, and a great kick there from the New Zealander. Get 
Approaching 12 minutes here at Mount Waverley Reserve. New Zealand 4-5-29. Canada yet to score. Umpire gets the ball restarted in the middle of the ground. Good hit out from Morgan White there. But New Zealand pick the ball up and they move forward again. Oh, nearly a... Oh, that's a great mark there. Taking the mark. Probably would have been a free kick otherwise. I think that's uh, Joe Baker Thomas there. It is. And he could well line up for goal. And we're in perfect position here to, to see how it goes for him. Marks his spot, the big key forward, as we said previously on St Kilda's list. Ball's probably going to fade left from this angle. Comes in now. Gee, big that's kick. a lovely kick. Oh, just touched on the line. She hit that well, though. Not happy about it either. A bit of Varchi Barchi here. Don't know if Baker Thomas is the one you want to be picking on. He's a big, big man. I'll leave that to the players, I think. It was a good kick out of fullback from the Canadian fullback. But New Zealand again get possession. They keep it alive and Canada moves it forward. Great tackle. Great tackle. It was a two on one. He's won the footy. Great work by the Canadian player there. She it's willing. And holding the ball cold. And that's holding the ball. Bit of feeling in this game, Will. And it's Andrew Suku here. The Suku boys working well together in the Risk, tackle there. Risky kick by Suhu, but it's going to pay off. As New Zealand switched the ball out of side now. This is Craig Morgan for New Zealand. Called his name a few times today, Will. And that there, if you just saw, was a bounce. Uh, every 15 metres in the AFL, you need to take a bounce. Otherwise, you'll be pinged for uh, running too far. It was never, a, uh, never an issue for myself when I played. Didn't uh, get the opportunity to run that far, Will. I don't know about you. <laughs> oh, it was much the same. We'll leave, we'll leave that to the players out in the field, particularly this New Zealand side. They are starting to run away with it a bit. Another shot on goal coming up. And this is a skipper, Andrew Howison. He's been very good today, very impressive. Very tough at the ball as well, which is uh, what you like to see in Aussie rules. A couple of changes for the New Zealanders now. Jay Johnson coming on, as is Liam Beattie, another Uni Blues player. And it was Benjamin Hick uh, coming off, as well as Shane Leet. Fades a little, but he's kicked that. Another one to New Zealand. And that is a captain's goal, if ever I've seen one. Appro approaching 15 minutes, New Zealand, I think it's their fifth, fifth goal for the game. 5 6 36 as the scoreboard gets updated. Canada yet to score. Just over 15 minutes gone here at Mount Waverley Reserve. Canada now, Canada now have thrown one back, so they've got the extra man in defence. Just trying to stem the flow at the moment. And New Zealand again first to get their hands on the ball. And this is Cunliffe. Probably too far out to score from here, but he'll be able to wind up. Not the best kick off the ball, and it rolls over the boundary line deep in the New Zealand forward 50. As we said, a bit of feeling in this game, a bit of frustration by the Canadians. New Zealand right on top here at the moment. Ball's thrown in. And another stoppage here. New Zealand right on top here, and they've been able to uh, they've been able to get the better of the play here, winning at the stoppage. They've been able to get their run and carry going as well. Canadians desperate to get the ball out. 
But New Zealand again, first hands to it. Klein now. It's kind of odd. Risky, risky play there, and he's been he's been pink for holding the ball. Probably just needed to clear the ball there. They are under siege a bit here, the Canadians. Siren, Siren not too far away here. Can Canada stop New Zealand from another score? Could they be clear. away here. They clear now. That was Liang, but it's all New Zealand running back. And the Siren goes as Craig Morgan picks up the ball. So three-quarter time sees New Zealand on five goals and six behinds for a total score of 36. Uh, while Canada, zero goals, zero behinds. Unfortunately yet to score, they are on zero. We'll have a short break before we get into the final quarter of this match. And I think in this last quarter, the, uh, the big players from Canada really need to, to get up and about. That quarter, we didn't seem to see Clayland or Adam Nash in particular as much as we did in the first half. So hopefully they can get up and get a score on the board for their team. Looks like we have White in the ruck for Canada. It's been good today, White. He's worked hard. Actually, looks like New Zealand have thrown the spare man in defence this quarter. As we get underway for this final term. And Canada have seemed to get their hands to the ball first. Ball still in the centre here. Umpire will come in and get us underway with another ball up. Jay Johnson was good there to uh, work the ball forward for New Zealand, but he just couldn't quite take it cleanly. Scrappy to start this final term. Umpire will move in to get the game restarted again. Canada, de ju Canada just desperate. Desperate to get this ball forward and get a score on the board. Umpire's picked something out. Too high the call there. Got a couple of options here. Finds the free man. Holding the ball there, incorrect disposal. Canadians will look the ball, move the ball out of their defence. It comes across to Duggan. Duggan looking for options down the line. Broadcast side here. Goes long. He's got the tall timber. Good spoil from the New Zealand defence there. And Jay Johnson runs through the middle. Good kick. Gee, played on, played on without knowing what was in front of him there. The umpires, the umpires called a ball up. Very lucky there. They are looking to play on at every opportunity as we noticed in the third quarter. But uh, as you said, didn't know what was in front of him there. And very lucky. Wide again out of the ruck. And Jay Johnson, he's picked up in this last quarter. It's a good kick forward. Howison, good mark. Two bites of the cherry there. And he's probably just within scoring range as long as the wind, uh, he doesn't get a bad gust of wind. Yeah, great grab there by Howison. It's Baker Thomas was coming in as well, but left it to Howison. They seem to work well together in this Ford 50 for the New Zealanders. Comes in now. Straight in front, bit of breeze. Hits it well. Never in doubt. And the Kiwi skipper kicks his second goal. And they head out to a 42-point lead. New Zealand on six goals, six behinds for a total of 42. Canada still yet to score. Zero goals, zero behinds for a total of zero. Never looked in doubt from the moment he hit his foot there, House and the captain. He's worked well there today with Baker Thomas, as we said. New Zealand with this result will move to three wins from three games. Underway again now. And 
Suku in defence there for New Zealand. Gets the ball out and Jay Johnson now running through the middle. Starting to get busy in the middle there, Jay Johnson. He keeps running, could get it back now. Ball spills on the outer side. It looks like Beattie gets to it first. Good handball. Great handball there from Famalo. I've said it before, I do like the way Famalo goes. He's worked really hard today. As the Canadians clear. New Zealand have the numbers here though. Works it to the wing on the broadcast side. Good tackle. Tough hard game of footy today, Will. It is. As Morgan White taps the ball down, he's been very good. New Zealand go forward and inside 50 again. Canada have the numbers here. Nearly a good mark to Baker Thomas, but it was a good spoil from the Canadian defence. Might have got away with a throw there, Will. Shane Leet got a big tackle there. Rewarded with the free kick. Hasn't got too much on. He's just going to go down the line here, I think. Play the safe option. And Famalo again gets the ball out. Nearly ran too far there. The Canadian crowd calling for a free kick. But he's not paid it. And New Zealand keep going through the middle. Smarty Thomas now gets it to the New Zealand half forward line. It's Howison. He can't quite get clean possession. But New Zealand get it out the back, kick it forward. Not a high percentage kick, but it's been plucked out there. Cunliffe. Oh, that Something was a great right. goal from Cunliffe. I think that's his second for the day. Something out of nothing. A scrappy kick forward by the New Zealand player there. And Cunliffe picked it up. Quick snap and puts the seventh goal on the board for the Canadian, uh, for the New Zealanders, rather. So New Zealand, 7-6-48 now. Canada yet to score. Five and a half minutes gone in the fourth quarter of this International Cup game. We're live at Mount Waverley Reserve. And uh, if you're using social media, use the hashtag AFLIC17. That's hashtag AFLIC17. And from Canada, uh, the Canadian hashtag is hashtag true, north, strong and free. This play continues here. Canada get the ball forward. But Suku gets it at half back and he's been very good this second half. I think Shane Leet on the, the far wing has the ball, hands it across. But the Canadians hold them up. And we have a ball up coming up. Morgan White again. And Shane Leet running forward for New Zealand. Ball spills forward here. New Zealand again have the numbers. There's a skipper, Howison. To Parnay Thomas, trying to get involved as well. Baker Thomas got his knee up there. But the umpire said it was all clear. And it's another goal to New Zealand. Another one to New Zealand. They move to 8.654. The Canadian Ruckman, he looked to cop an errant knee or leg there. He's still down. The runner and trainer move out now. Looks to be in a bit of bother. And emotions are spilling over here between the two sides. Someone not happy with what this has been... Uh, has been said. Looks like it's all um, thanks to that Baker Thomas knee. Um, he's in the middle of it as well there. Didn't look to be anything untoward at the time. It looked to be just an errant knee or kick. But the Canadian player, we can't quite make out who it is at the moment. He's still down. I think it's Morgan White. The game, meanwhile, the ga forget the fight. We actually do have a game on here, Will. And New Zealand get the ball forward, all their players in the middle, while uh, Canada had no midfielders in place for that ball up. Emotions spilling over there, but the game must go on. And uh, 
interesting scenes here. New Zealand, the only players in the middle of the ground for that ball up. OK, let's sharpen up here. The ball's been thrown in. It was Morgan White heading off, which is a big blow for Canada. Howison takes the mark now, the New Zealand skipper. Had a good quarter, had a good game in fact. He's looked very dangerous. And New Zealand hit up a target inside. Great kick. A couple of clean possessions there. Started with Howison. Pinpoint accuracy and it's Carlos D D Donald Brown lining up. It's been tough and hard today. The wind has wreaked a bit of havoc with the, uh, the players, but some clean football there. It's going to result in New Zealand looking for their ninth goal. Comes in now. It's come off the side of the boot and doesn't register a score. Out of bounds on the full. You can see right from the ball drop that came off the right side of the boot. Canada will look to clear yet again. It's going to be Robin McDonald here. One of several Burnaby Eagles in this Canadian team. So a good mark there to the New Zealand team and they'll play on. Craig Morgan there gets it back to Tapane Thomas. Runs forward and hands it. And we'll have a kick across the face of goal to Howison. Oh, nearly took the juggling mark. But Canada, Canada's prevented him. Ball doesn't quite spill out. New Zealand reload here around their 50. Canada have some numbers though. Got the Not spare man here. All New Zealand here though. Boyce gets it out. And goes across the ground. Craig Morgan here. It's James Cassell there. Couldn't quite complete it. It's gone again. Not sure how he got rid of that. Could have been holding the ball. The game carries on, however. Umpire lets it go. Canada now. Can they get it forward? Hasn't been their day, Will, but they've, uh, they've, fought, they've fought on and continue to do so here. Comes out to Suku, who's been very good this second half. And that's Andrew Suku now. The two Suku boys. He nearly, nearly got him high there, but the umpire will throw it up. Big kick forward there, but it just sort of goes over boundary line. He just chucks it on the boot. By Marlow and Clintz now, on for the New Zealanders. The ball comes out, thanks to a Canadian free kick. Beatty's just snuck on here as well. He's about, he's, he's a kick behind the play, but New Zealand go forward again. That's a huge kick. It's a long kick, and Baker Thomas in prime position, but it just goes too long, and that's a behind for New Zealand. They move to eight goals, seven behinds for a total of 55. Canada still yet to score, and they get the play underway, but it wasn't a great kick as it comes out to Famalo. Fresh, le fresh legs, we just called him coming off the bench here. 12 minutes gone, the Canadians get the kick forward. Work, squirrel, work! Lots of space now out of side with the majority of the players in New Zealand's fourth half. The Kiwis have been good all day at keeping numbers back and making sure that Canada is not going to get any easy goals. Faymalo again, he's got the switch on here. Wasn't and the greatest kick, wasn't the greatest kick. Right idea, but the kick just hung in the air a little too long. Here's Suku. Got spare men on this broadcast side wing. Goes the other way though. He spotted something he likes and a great kick. And I think this is Samuel McKenzie here. Through the middle of the ground. It is starting to open up here. You can see there's some tired boys out there. The Canadians have defended as we get to the latter parts of this game. It's a good mark to Brendan Clark there. The space is starting to open up. And it's behind as he's pushed it across the face of goal. 
They move to eight goals, eight behinds for a total of 56. Canada quick to move it on here. It's quite a long kick there. Oh, oh nearly a great mark from Andrew Suku. Great leap by Suku. And a bit of friendly fire there for the Canadians. He's come off second best here as well. Brandon Suku with a good mark there and switched it across ground. Logan Anderson, slow to get to his feet, the Canadian. Cleaned up by his own player there, Will. Famalo moves the ball inside 50, but it wasn't a great kick. And the Canadians intercept. They move forward. They've got about three minutes left to see if they can get a score on the board today. Now, he's got nothing forward. They can make a contest here, though, and get some numbers. No, marked there by Suku. He's had a good game. There's some tied boys out there now, Will. Yeah, there definitely are, in particular in this last quarter. There have been a lot more interchanges. Really tight, congested first half. You can see it in the second half how New Zealand just got on top in that third quarter and the space. The game really has slowed down a bit in this fourth quarter. Leung picking up the ruck duties there for Canada. Doesn't look like the biggest bloke. Johnson again, he's had a really good fourth quarter, Will. He has. For Marlo now. He'll look to grab this and go. Well defended there, though, by the Canadian player. Here's Johnson again. Making a big tackle. He's got the Nat Fife man bun going on. <laughs> he's got the Nat Fife man bun going. I reckon he's about 20 kilograms lighter than him, though. Yeah. <laughs> Had a good day, nonetheless. Fomalo runs past the ball there. A bit scrappy. Good kick there, though. It's a good mark to the Canadian forward. They've got a bit of space here. If he goes quick, he does look to now. Great grab. And that's a mark. Great mark. Had a bit of space there, the Canadians. This is Kyle Graham lining up for, for the North Wind. Let's hope he puts it through. They've battled manfully throughout this whole game. Haven't got any reward in the scoreboard for it yet. Really should put this through. And he does. All the way from the Montreal Demons. That's his first goal for today and his second for the competition. He did kick a goal last week. So, as we approach the 16th minutes of this game, Canada on the board. New Zealand 8-8-56. Canada one goal straight, six behind. 50-point lead to the New Zealanders. 16 minutes gone here at Mount Waverley Reserve. Round three, AFL International Cup action. Entering the latter stages of this match, the umpire will get the uh, game started again from the middle. And we've got Mitch Home in the ruck here for Canada. But the Kiwis get it out quick and bang it forward. And there's Joe oh, Baker Thomas. Cool this will be another goal to New Zealand. Great handball over the top. And it's Brendan Clark with the goal. Brendan Clark. Cruel bounce there for the Canadians. New Zealand moved to nine goals. Nine six, I believe. Uh, nine goals, eight. Nine eight, rather. Mass never was my strong point. <laughs> nine eight, 62. Canada, one straight goal, six behinds. And they increase the margin back up to 56 points, the Kiwis do. We'll have another ball up here. And it comes to Liang, who kicks it forward. And I think the Kiwis will get to it first. They do. Oh, threw it onto his left, left foot there, but paid off. New Zealand looking for one more score here. Not long to go. Sirens not far away. Overcooks the kick. Brendan Clark looking to make it two goals in a row. Joe Baker-Thomas in there as well, but the umpire will ball it up. There's the siren, and the final score, New Zealand sits on nine goals and eight behinds for a total of 62 to Canada. One goal, zero behinds for a total of six. It's a 56-point win to New Zealand, and they remain undefeated this competition. Yeah, 56-point win there to New Zealand. Canada did battle throughout the game. They didn't give up, gave it a crack. Great to see them get some reward at the end with that goal late in the piece, but New Zealand uh, a cut above in that second half particular. 
as we said, Canada had the ascendancy for the first five or six minutes of this game, couldn't get the score on the board. And from there, New Zealand, particularly in the second half, were able to get their running game going, looked to fly on at every opportunity, move the ball on, played a good brand of footy, Will. Yes, they certainly did. And uh, some of the better players for the day for, uh, for the New Zealand team. Uh, Jay Johnson really picked it up in that last quarter. Um, Andrew Suku as well was another one to pick it up in that last quarter. Brandon Suku played well all game in defence. Um, while captain Andrew Howson was good up forward and in the middle. And Joe Baker-Thomas, the former, former St Kilda rookie listed player, he kicked a couple of goals up forward and he looked very dangerous all day for, for Canada. Um, the captain... Well, captain for the day, Clay Lund was very good early on, as was Adam Nash up forward, but they just couldn't impose themselves on the game in the second half. Uh, Morgan White was good all day, but he got he got pulled off the ground late with an injury, so hopefully he'll be up for their game next weekend, or next round, um, which I believe is against Nauru. And Canada will be glad they got that last goal on the board uh, in the dying stage of that game.